Hello, my name is Derek from Tomcat Gas Training and welcome to part two of six at six where at 6 p.m. I give you six gas questions to help you with your knowledge while we're under these hard times of the coronavirus. But if this is the first video you're watching, you've started at the wrong place because I'm about to give you the answers to part one. So you need to watch part one and look at the questions before you get the answers in this part two. So let's stop messing around and let's get on with it. Here are the answers to part one. So part one, question one, the answer was A, 38.76. That is the carolific value of gas. The answer to question two in part one was C, which is CH4 plus 2O2 equal CO2 plus 2H2O. That is the chemical formula we're hoping to achieve. The answer to question three in part one is B. There is round about 21% oxygen in the atmosphere to aid combustion. Answer to question 4 in part 1. The answer was A. CO. CO is a chemical symbol for carbon monoxide. The answer to number 5 in part 1 is C. 55% is about the minimum of the CO levels in blood where it could become fatal. And the final answer to question six in part one was A, less than 0.004 is the minimum ratio we're looking for when we're analyzing a condensing boiler. So how did you do? Let's check your answers in the comments section and let's see who was the first to answer. Don't forget guys, put your answers in the comment section below and let's find out who the quickest is to answer these questions. So let's get on with part two questions. Question number one. If a condensing boiler fails its flue gas analyzer tests under IGM G11 unsafe situations procedure, how would we categorize the appliance? Is it A, at risk, B, not to current standards, or C, immediately dangerous? And that is the end of question number one. Now, question number two. The gas safe installation and use regulations comply to gas that is connected to a gas conveyed to dwellings through the national grid only, b gas conveyed by storage cylinders only, or c gas conveyed to dwellings through the national grid or stored cylinders. That is the end of question number two. And now for question number three. It is an offence under the gas safe installation and use regulations for a company to falsely claim a member of a class of persons approved by A. The Health and Safety Executive B. The Department of Trade and Industries and C. The Institute of Gas Engineers That is the end of question number three. And now 
for question number four. The current gas safety regulations prohibits the installation of a gas pipe made of A. Mild steel B. Sheathed copper or C. Lead alloy. That is the end of question number four. And now for question number five. The main aim of the gas safe installation and use regulations whilst working on gas and gas appliances is to A. Ensure the customer satisfaction B. To allow engineers to modify appliances or C. To prevent a danger to life or property That is the end of question number five And finally, in part two, question number six. According to the Gas Safe Installation and Use Regulations, whilst work is being carried out on gas, gas should not be released unless A. A warning siren is sounded. B. An inert gas is released into the room first. Or C. Steps are taken to guard against gas being released into a room that will be a danger to life or property. That is the end of question six. And that is the end of part two. So like part one guys, what I want you to do is put your answers in the comments section down below. Let's see who's the quickest. Okay, but if you've liked this video, why don't you give us a thumbs up or leave a constructive comment down below. If you're enjoying these questions, let me know as well and I'll keep doing them. If you've not subscribed to our channel yet, then get subscribing. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because we're releasing videos Looks like Monday, Wednesday and Friday while we've got the coronavirus. So all I've got left to say guys is, thanks for listening, thanks for watching and stay in and stay safe. Cheers guys.